to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos and I apologize in advance for the sun coming in and out because me and the sun are not best friends today. Literally, I'm just gonna have to film this now because I've dilly-dallied so long waiting for the sun to go in. Anyway, back to the point. Um, I have done a massive Lush haul massive I actually ordered online this time just because I haven't had chance to actually go to a big Lush store and shop the Halloween and Christmas collection because it's not actually in all the stores at the moment and I haven't been up to London in quite a few months so yeah haven't been able to grab anything so I went on the Lush website and they had it all on there so with delivery I just thought why not let's do it let's get it over and done with and I can enjoy my bath bombs Right, so let's get this box open. I literally haven't even opened the box yet. Got this yesterday, haven't opened the box, so I'm praying that everything is intact. Otherwise, this is not gonna be a good video, is it? Okay, we've got our invoice, and this is packed by Amelia. Thank you, Amelia. Oh God, I bloomin' hate these things. Hate them, they're gonna be everywhere. Oh no, they're not in bags either. Oh no. Right, this is gonna get incredibly messy, I can tell. Okay. I also have no idea what these are called because they're not in bags. Right, let's get the Lush website up. Oh wait, no, I have I have an invoice. I have an invoice. This is what the invoice is for. We've got pictures and we've got descriptions. I love this. Thanks Lush, this is incredibly helpful for when you're doing a Lush haul, incredibly helpful. Okay, so the first one is part of the Christmas range. I probably should do Halloween first, but everything's mixed in this box. So we're just gonna have a bit of pick and mix, I feel. So this is called the Christmas Cracker Snap Bubble and Pop. So it says snap on it and it is a bubble bar. And oh my God, this smells divine. Oh, this smells of sweets. What does it smell of? Refreshers, this smells exactly like refreshers. Oh, that is amazing. I can't wait to see what the colors come out like as well. But yeah, this smells like refreshers. Literally, if you don't see me before Christmas now, it's because I've been using all these bath bombs. Amazing. Thank God I haven't cleaned the carpet yet. Okay, the next one is, I don't know, here we go. So this one is called The Magic of Christmas. Now I've had this quite a few years now. I've had this like on the last two years I've done a lush autumn winter haul. Um, so this is called The Magic of Christmas. Oh, this smells better this year. I swear this used to be very cinnamony. I can't say cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. That word, I can never say it. Um, so yeah, it's got that in it and it used to be quite spicy. But this smells sweeter this year, definitely. I actually really like this. I actually really like that. It's kind of a sweetie kind of spicy smell. So I would compare it to a mince pie. I would say this smells like a really nice yummy mince pie. Love this. And of course it's got glitter on it, which makes it even cooler. Um, and yeah, this is a bubble bar. So you just like dip it under the water and you get a couple of uses out of this one. Don't be like me and don't use it all at once because you get your money's worth. Okay, I love this one. So this one's one of my favorites. Again, I've had this a couple of years running now. This one's called Snow Angel from the Christmas range. And it's got a very glittery orangey back and a white angel front. Literally, this is delicious. So, ah, here we go. We have descriptions of the scents, guys. For once in my life, I can tell you what scents are in here without just me saying it smells like sweets all the time. This is super helpful. I should do this more often. Rich in moisturizing fair trade cocoa butter with a delicate marzipan scent and drifts of rose, benzoin, and cassie. I would not have said that's marzipan. I'd say it smells a little bit Play-Doh-y, but it's nice, really nice. So this is the Snow Angel one. Oh, spicy almond bubbles. That's why it smells sweet this year because they put almonds in it. That was the Magical Christmas, the wand one. And then the other one was, doesn't say, doesn't say. We'll just ignore that one. Oh, my hands are filthy. This is really big. What is this bad boy? Okay, this is new. I mean, I'm acting surprised, like I don't know what I've ordered. Obviously I know what I ordered. But this is called Plum Snow. And this one is Sicilian Mandarin scented bubbles. Um, a hint of Osmanthus. <laughs> Osmanthus, what is Osmanthus? Anyway, oh, this is weird. It's kind of quite florally. 
I mean, I wouldn't say that's my favorite smell in the world, but it's nice. Oh, I've got it on my nose now. So this is again a bubble bar. Looks really amazing though, very Christmassy, but very florally. I wouldn't say this is my favorite lash scent, but color looks cool and I'm excited to see what this comes out like in the bath and it's quite a good size as well. What have we got here? <gasps> oh yes, this is my fave. My fave is coming and I don't want to break it. Okay, I'm just gonna have to chuck, chuck these out because I've just got too much. I'm gonna hate myself for doing this on my carpet, but too much. Too much going on here, Lush. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! So we've got another favourite of mine. This one is pumpkin. Literally, pumpkin. And he smells very sweet. He has got in him sweet pumpkin pie dripping in spice and sauciness. Um, it's got vanilla in it, spicy cinnamon. <laughs> the word I can't say. Um, and yeah. It's really nice actually. I wouldn't have said that's got vanilla in it, but it's really nice. Every year this bugger gets me with glitter. So this one is called Spicy Pumpkin. Come on, this is definitely called, it's called Sparkly Pumpkin, no! <laughs> so I've had this for the last couple of years running as well. Um, and this one has got lime, lime in it. Jesus, I never thought there was lime. Oh, it smells good though, yes. They have changed the scent this year. This is so much better. Absolutely love this. It smells like lime. And honestly, this glitter will stay on you for days. So just be careful. If you have any important meetings or anything the next day, you're gonna be glowing. So just be cautious of that when you use this one, but it's super sparkly and you'll be cleaning your bath for days. So this one is another one to the Christmas range and it's called Thunder Snow. And this one has in it, Cocoa peppermint, and that's it. Mm. Oh my God, this smells like chocolate. Oh yeah, because it's got cocoa in it. <laughs> I actually want to eat this, it smells so good. So this is a bath bomb and it looks epic. I love the design on it actually, but um, oh, that smells delicious. I have never wanted to eat a Lush bath bomb before, but now I definitely want to tuck into this. Do not eat them though, they're not safe to eat. So a new addition to the Halloween range this year, which I was super excited to have a look at, was the pink pumpkin. So a bit like sparkly pumpkin, but pink. And this one has like glitter flakes on it as well. It's not sparkly, it's like glitter flakes, I would say. Ooh, that smells good. What's in here? Geranium and bergamot oils are in this one. It smells really nice. Ooh, yes. Literally so excited for this, but again, I can tell this is gonna be a messy one because all the glitter is coming off already, but super cute and a super nice gift for Halloween. And this one is another one of my Lush favorites. I've had this for the last couple of years and it's called Shoot for the Stars. But this one smells really good. It's quite a sweet smelling one. Let's say there's probably a bit of sheer butter in there. Quite nice, quite subtle, but the, but the color of this when you put it in the bath is epic. Love the blue color and obviously you get some sparkle in there as well. So it kind of looks like mermaid water if anything. So this is a really good one for, for like mermaid lovers and if you love a good lush sparkly bath. So another one to the Halloween range is Monsters Ball and I had this one last year. So this one has lime and neroli oils in. Oh, this smells good. This is great for kids as well, this one actually. Really nice smelling and just Great for kids, who doesn't want a monster? And the colors are lush. I keep saying lush. Why do I keep saying lush in a lush haul? I'm awful for this, I keep saying, oh, it's lush. My hands are literally filthy, this is awful. Take caution when buying from lush, guys. You'll end up a sparkly monster. So this is from the Christmas range. I'm pretty sure this is new. I don't remember this one before. Um, but this is from the Luxury Bath Oils and it's called Starlight Star Bright. Um, and it's got Chinese ginger and lime oils in to wake you up to wake you up, love it, and lavender. Ooh, ooh, it smells very Chinesey. I'm trying not to get it close to my face though, because this would be disastrous. Really nice, very kind of subtly, very spa smelling, very Chinesey, and very oily smelling. Okay, so I'm now contaminating other bath bombs with all this glitter, um, but this is called Ectoplasm from the Halloween range, and this is new, and it's got little ghosts on it, which is really cool. Um, so this one has got, 
Oh, this one's a jelly bomb. Now I've tried the jelly bombs when I went to Southampton opening. Um, I'm not a big fan of the jelly bombs just cause they're like, literally you're sat in jelly. I mean, it's not like water, it's like jelly. So I dread to think what my bath will be like afterwards, but I'm still excited to try it. I think I'm gonna have to, just as a Halloween treat. Um, so it's purpley and yellowy. And, oh, that smells so good. Doesn't actually say what it smells of. Very lemony, I would say. And a bit like sweet, you know, like you're trick or treating on Halloween. It just smells like a bowl of sweets, really. Really nice. And I bet that'd be great for kids as well. But I warn you, the jelly bath bombs are messy. There is no way around it. Okay, so we've got our first injury. Half of his moustache has come off. But this is called Man on the Moon. And this is part of the Christmas range. And this one has got, um, doesn't say what it smells of. But again, very lemony, very limey, very quite sweet smelling. And this has got an added bit of glitter as well, so I'm pretty sure this one will be a glittery bath. And this is a bath melt. Oh, it smells good. Palm of Violets this smells of. Palm of Violets again. I love when they do a good Palm of Violets smelling one. So another new bath bomb to the Christmas range is called Snow Fairy. Now I love the Snow Fairy shower gel they do. Like literally I obsess about it. It's my favorite smell in the world. It literally smells divine. So when they had a bath bomb, I was like, it makes sense. It would be rude not to purchase this. And it literally smells like the shower gel. Oh my God. Oh yes, I'm going to be in my element with this one. I think this is officially my favorite Lush bath bomb. They have put Snow Fairy in a bath bomb and you have made my dreams come true. Doesn't actually say what is in it, but it's a jelly bath bomb as well. So it's messy. It's gonna be messy, but I can't wait. I literally cannot wait. Love the smell of Snow Fairy. So if you're a Snow Fairy fan like me, this is for you. So a new one to the Halloween range is Bewitched, a little cat's face. How cute is this? Love this one. Ooh, very like noir -y. I very wanna say this is a luxurious noir scent. Very nice. Ali Bannum and Bergamot in it. Not sure I'm pronouncing any of these names right, but it smells good. Very nice, not sweet at all. Very luxurious and quite a musky scent, shall we say. Really nice, and this is a bubble bar, this one. I love this one, it's a little Olaf bath bomb. <laughs> Stop. He's called the snowman. I love him. I literally love him. I think I might call him Olaf. Um, so this one is called Banish the Winter Weather and Float Away with Summer Scented Clouds. This is an odd one. So they're trying to make you think it's summer. Oh no, he smells like marshmallows. Literally, this reminds me of like a hot chocolate in Costa. It smells like marshmallows. Yeah. Definitely, I wouldn't say this is a summer scent. Definitely not. This smells like a hot chocolate from Costa with marshmallows. As specific as I can get with that. But he's so cute. I can't wait for this. Aha, so we've got a classic. So this is one of the classics from the Christmas range. Luxury Lush Pud. So I've had this numerous years now, this one. So I probably should know what's in it, but I don't. Um, and this one is, oh, I shouldn't be rubbing my face with glitter. Oh no. So this is meant to be sugar plum and I don't know, it just says sweet and sugar plum. But it is very sweet smelling. And very kind of like Christmassy scenty. So there's some like spices in there, I think, and sweet smelling. But really, really nice. And the colors of this are epic. I love this because all the little discs come out and like swirl into colors. This is such good bath bomb as well. Then last but certainly not least, it's probably my favorite Christmas bath bomb ever ever and that is golden wonder and i've had this for years and i will always buy this because it is so freaking amazing so it's quite a big one it is a bath bomb and it's shaped as a present but inside the colors are crazy honestly this is so so good in the bath like great for kids if they love like watching all the colors and stuff i want to say this is quite like frankincense -y, this smell very christmasy and quite a luxury smelling smell not sweet at all but really nice smell and honestly, like even if the smell wasn't great, the colors alone and what this bath bomb does is so, so, so worth it. So I'm really excited to try out all the Halloween and Christmas bath bombs and all the new additions as well, which is super, super cool. So like I said, they're not all launched in every Lush store at the moment, um, but they are definitely in Lush Oxford Street. They're definitely all online. That's where I purchased mine from. So if you haven't got one near you, definitely check out online. It's so much easier and I got next day delivery as well, which is awesome. So thank you guys for watching my massive lush awesome winter haul i'm so excited to try all of them out and i hope you guys are excited as well to try them out so thanks for watching i appreciate all your views and likes 
Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all and I will see you in my next video which will be on Friday. Lots of love guys.